Hello everyone. Our today's passage is passage 8. It is a conversation between two persons. Now I am going to read out the whole passage. Hello Junior Cycle Cam. Jake is speaking. Hi. I'm calling for some information about the cycle camp. I'm thinking of sending my son. Great. Well, it's held every weekday morning over the summer vacation and we focus on basic cycling skills and safety. We have eight levels for children from three years upwards. How old is your son? Charlie, he's seven. He can ride a bike, but he needs a little more training before he is safe to go on the road. He would probably be best in level 5. They start off practicing on the site here and we aim to get them riding on the road, but first they are taking to ride in the park, away from the traffic. Right, and can you tell me a bit about the instructors? Well, all our staff wear different colored shirts. So, we have three supervisors and they have red shirts. They support the instructors and they also stand in for me if I am not out. Then the instructors themselves are in blue shirts and one of these is responsible for each class. Okay, in order to be accepted, all our instructors have to submit a reference from someone who has seen them work with children like if they have worked as a babysitter, for example. Then they have to complete our training course including how to do lesson plans and generally they care for the well-being of the kids in their class. They do a great job, I have to say. Right, and tell me a bit about the classes. What size will Charlie's class be? We have a limit of 8 children in each class. So their instructor really gets to know them well. They are out riding most of the time, but they have quiet times too. Where their instructor might tell them a story that's got something to do with cycling or get them to play a game together. It's a lot of fun. It must be. Now, what happens if there is rain? Do the classes still run? Oh, yes. We don't let that put us off. We just put on our water poops and keep cycling. And is there anything special Charlie should bring along with him? Well, maybe some spare clothes. Especially if the weather is not so good and a snack for break time. How about a drink? No, we will provide that. And make sure he has shoes, not sandals. Sure. And just at present, Charlie has to take medication every few hours. So I will make sure he has that. Absolutely. Just give us details of when he has to take it and we will make sure he does. Thanks. Now, there are a few things you should know about day one of the camp. The classes normally start at 9.30 every morning, but on day one, you should aim to get Charlie here by 9.20. The finishing time will be 12.30 as usual. We need the additional time because there are a few extra things to do. The most important is that we have a very careful check to make sure that every child's helmet fits properly. If it doesn't fit, we will try to adjust it or we will find him another one. But he must wear it all the time. He is on the bike. Of course. Then after that, all the instructors will be waiting to meet their classes and they will meet up in the tent. You can't miss it. 
and each instructor will take their class away and get started. Okay, well, that all sounds good. Now, can you tell me how much the camp costs a week? $199. We have managed to keep the price more or less the same as last year. It was $190 then. But the places are filling up quite quickly. Right. Okay. Well, I would like to book for... Okay. That was all the passage. Thank you.